Strawberry Week, the little clown with its nose bleeding, the curse, on the rag, that time of the month, blood festival, red traffic light, and on flow. Do you know which two simple terms are the code words we're facing? If you guessed period and menstruation, you're correct. Those are only some of the 5,000 euphemisms used all over the world to enforce the idea that menstruation is humiliating, embarrassing, obnoxious and disgusting. In reality, periods are a healthy and natural part of the reproductive system and it happens to anyone that has wombs occurring monthly for about 40 years. The problem though is that menstruation isn't normalized and openly discussed as it should be. Indeed, period sigma is holding back goals due to the taboo surrounding this topic. But what is period sigma? Period Sigma is a discrimination faced by people menstruating that can create both physical and mental problems. It's harmful regardless of whether it's a joke with no intention to offend or a false myth. Menstruation is indeed considered a taboo topic and since the world falls silent on the subject, it creates many big problems. But what are those problems? First of all, society is giving us the message that our bodies are not worth learning about. We can see the effects of the lack of period education on the way that society views menstruation in general. For example, women in the Jewish Orthodox community, while they are menstruating, need to sleep separately from their husband because they are considered impure. Others believe that using a tampon will take your virginity. Indeed, many other myths around periods. In addition, in some schools, they don't even study about menstruation in general. In fact, many girls and women all over the world are struggling to handle their periods. Some girls even drop out of school or miss days while menstruating. For these reasons, 79% of students believe that we need more in-depth menstrual education. Along this, there is also period poverty. Women and girls cannot afford period sanitation supplies. In fact, they resort using materials like uh, uh, toilet paper, rags, newspapers, socks and clothes, plastic bags. But those materials can cause severe infections. Globally, people impoverished cannot afford these supplies. One of the reasons because impoverished people cannot afford these supplies is because they have a period tax which is an additional cost, even though they are a basic need. In fact, these items are considered luxury supplies. In fact, for example, in Italy, which is where I live, these products have a 22% tax. Furthermore, these products also have a negative environmental impact. In fact, these products are the fifth most common plastic waste products found in the ocean. They are made up of 90% of plastic and they aren't biodegradable or recyclable either. In fact, one single pad takes up to 600 years to decompose. But those products are not only bad for the environment, but also for women's body. In fact, they contain a lot of chemicals and violate organic compounds. Especially the pads that have synthetic fragrances contain up to 3,900 chemicals, which is a lot. Worst of all is how women feel shame and embarrassment when they are in their period. In fact, they are confined to their houses, excluded from public spaces, and they are considered to be bad luck to others. So, to make women and girls feel more safe, feel good about themselves, have a proper education and the right materials to use, the right period products, we need to take action. But what can we do? We need to establish work and school policies, uh, abolish euphemisms and code words, make period education mandatory, donate pads and tampons to the girl who cannot afford them, and talk about periods freely and without shame. In fact, in 2014, it was created the Menstrual Hygiene Day, which is the 20th of May, 
It is this day because a menstrual cycle averages about 28 days in length. And women menstruate for five days each month. Just remember that nothing will ever change unless we all change the stereotypes, the discrimination, the stigma, and the taboos surrounding menstruation. Thank you.